what's up? How are you? I uh, hope you're good. You look great. I just thought I'd hop on and do a quick little video about this bad boy right here, the Tamron 28mm f2.8, because I have not seen anyone do a half decent review on this, and absolutely not the king of reviews, but I thought I'd give it a go. A few years back when I brought my proper camera, which I'm filming this on, found a decent price for the body, and then kind of realized, oh, I've spent quite a lot of money on a camera and I actually can't afford a lens, which is where this comes in. Probably I paid like around 30 quid for this off of eBay. And to be honest, like I, I still use it. Don't know exactly how many shoots I've taken this on, but I've definitely shot a couple of weddings on it, uh, a couple of, you know, personal bits. I took it to Iceland, so I have had a while to properly field test this. So check out a couple of shots that I've actually gotten with this lens. you know the first thing that you're going to do with this lens is actually have it in your hand it is really really solid thirty quid forty quid for this uh, it is not breaking anytime soon pretty much all metal one of the things that I do like about it is this really smooth focus ring that it has um, which has actually got this kind of like texture on it so your hand doesn't slip. Honestly, it is not the sharpest lens, but um, I don't believe that you need it to be super sharp unless that's a specific thing that you're trying to do is make it look really sharp, but um, I don't think you need it to make great videos. Especially if you lean into the vintage look, colour it accordingly, and maybe add some effects or whatever. This is brilliant. I've been a big fan of the vintage look for a long time, which is Part, part of the reason I was looking for a vintage lens is because I was broke, but also because I do actually like the effect. Would I shoot like a clean corporate commercial on this? No, but pretty much anything else, absolutely. One of the things that I really, really like about this is the lens flares it gives. Just looks really, really nice, and obviously it's all stuff that you can do in post, but I think getting a really nice lens flare in camera is always just I think probably the only downside to this is the, the colour matching. I've had a real like, problem with colour matching this. I say matching, but it's literally to this lens. So the colour just changes uh, from one shot to the next. But if maybe if you're you know, tight on colour grading, then you won't find that a problem. Maybe I just suck. I think the bokeh is great. I think the build quality is great. Um, if you're a bit of a run and gun videographer like I would probably say I am, it works brilliantly. Again, I love a focus ring. Uh, maybe a bit of a downside with the aperture noise, but I mean, what can you do uh, for the price that you pay for it? It's great. The quality, the boat, I mean, the, the bokeh, the bokeh. Considering this is a wide angle lens and only, I do say only, but only 2.8. So yeah, I hope that gives you an idea of what this lens is capable of. I know it was a bit of a short video, but as always, I would appreciate you liking and subscribing and commenting and stuff like that. Let me know if it was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and uh, hopefully see you in the next one.